I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. It's clean. Okay, so look, he also fixed this. Right here. Just needs to be painted. Uh, we'll get textured and then painted. Awesome. But yeah, that there. He's going to fix that. Nice. Oh my gosh. All right, let's look in here. Yep. Wow. Last time we saw this, it was all cords. Okay, so there've been there've been a couple couple updates. The guys are outside right now working on the stone that goes around the base of the house. So we can look at that in a minute. But we oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nope. We've oh, got yeah. our little baseboards here. Oh nice. This she still is in. Probably gonna fix this when it goes to. See, I didn't really laugh. So you sand it down or something? I don't know what he does. I don't know about the boys. I've never done it. <laughs> okay, what else? What else? This window is finally in. That's and then we've got a potty, and we have a little cabinet in here. We're still, we're definitely gonna be adding more storage. I'm thinking maybe something like, you know, I don't know, some kind of like a little wire rack here for towels and such um definitely some like a cabinet or shelf up here but that's going to be on us so he's got some basic i like this i can be on the toilet cabinets and installed to this potentially i can put magazines or whatever you got in there Video magazines games. on the toilet actually that's not a bad idea we put a tv right here like all right so plugs that's not a bad idea look at this in the kitchen. Fan, Look at this. The, yes. Doing the, that's cool. Yes. Oh, this is my favorite part. How does it work? Ow! We're gonna need handles. Yeah, Check handles. that out. Heck yeah. Alright, cool. So he ran the, you know, so this. Obviously, this is for cooktop. So our cooktop's right there, which is cool that this is a functional drawer underneath this. Still missing this window. I think it's been lost. <laughs> it is lost. <laughs> oh, we had a lamp. Cool. Yeah, right uh, so more of the trim. We've got our baseboards in. I mean, this hasn't really changed much because these rooms are pretty much done. Pretty Light much. switches. Uh, these are all thing. in. He has to finalize this because apparently there's different, I just thought it was just a 220 plug-in or something, but apparently there's different plugs for different, you know, washers and dryers. So, mm -hmm. he said he's going to pick the most generic one, and I was like, that's probably fine with us. Okay, this is clear now. And then this is going to be our little peninsula area, which I really, really like. Uh, sink as well will be here. What kind of sink? A farmhouse sink. Farmhouse sink. That'd be really cool. So baseboards, yep, all the plugs and outlets are in. Still got our holes here. Um, fans, looking good. All these are in. So that's good. We got another potty. I was laughing about this because <laughs> literally just a lone toilet in the corner. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> so here's our potty. Okay, so the the guys just left, and I want to show you guys the front of what the stone underneath the house is gonna look like. How nice is that? Good, right? Yeah, it's not over there yet, and they were just working out this way. Um, but I mean, look at that. And then we've got more over here. So that looks really great. But they have to go all the way up, and then 
obviously all the way around. They still need to do the stucco. But once this is all done, this is going to look so nice. And another thing that they have been working on this week is septic. So it is going right here. Um, yeah, here's our septic tank. There it is. Oh, it did a little bit more right here. Yeah, so this is what they did today. It's not gonna take three days. It's gonna take like a week. Oh, and this is gonna be more hardy, I think. So it's gonna be kind of like a weird little. I think like, but then this looks like it's gonna be hardy. I think. I'm not totally sure. I don't see, look, yeah. Oh, good, they didn't dig Buzz up. Yeah, real oh, close to Buzz. Buzz is right there. It actually looks kind of cool under here now. As it's getting enclosed in. Still a nice looking house. One of these days. Oh, now you now you say that. Well, based off of that, like you're pessimistic now. <laughs> oh, super pessimistic. Be surprised if it gets done. I don't know about this. <laughs> don't know about it. It'll get done. Well, there's no choice. This is here. It has to be done. It just might look like this when we move it. <laughs> All right. So we are still not moving back to San Marcos yet because the house needs to be done. We're just at a point where. The house, it just needs to be done. Um, this space is not big enough for us. Eva is active and wants to be on the go and running and we need our own space. So I guess, I mean, we'll be in Austin until it's done. We're hoping that it's going to be sooner rather than later, but we just don't know. So there's a lot of unknowns at this point. But the good news is that Matt's not traveling for work anymore. He's back. Um, and so we can kind of move about Austin a bit more. Next week I want to go to a trampoline park huh? with Eva. I huh? haven't talked to you about this yet. But um, I think she would yet. love that. So if we do, of course we will vlog it because I want those memories forever. What is that? Carpenter Ant, will you get it? Ew! I don't know. I'm just so torn on what to do because this is not enough space. We can always go next door and hang out, you know, with Matt's parents, but I want, I want our own space. Um, obviously, I mean, who doesn't want their own space, but I also miss being here. I miss being here on the land and with nature and being able to explore more outside and going to the gym and just kind of our normal routine, although there's not really any normal right now, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm really torn because I I want to wait until the house is done, but it still seems like another couple weeks because that rock base around the house is going to take a long time. <laughs> I mean, it's taken them several days just to get what's done that I showed you guys. And septic is going to take a while because digging that hole is going to be tough with all the rock out here. They still need to tie into our water. I think there's still a few things that need to be done with the electrical and then the stucco. So, I mean, realistically, I'm thinking another month. If there's no hangups and nobody else gets sick. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm torn on what we should do. What do you guys think? Should we move back to the RV? Um, or should we stay in Austin? Let us know. <laughs> Maybe we'll rely on y'all's vote. Because I just, I'm, I, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what I want. So let us know what you think. <laughs> We're relying on internet people to tell us where to move. 
Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna go pick up Eva from next door, start heading back to Austin. It's about an hour and 10 minutes from here. So we gotta drive. She's probably gonna fall asleep on the way, which is a very late nap. It's 4.30. So, wish us luck. Okay, editing Blair here. <laughs> um, I, I look like a crazy person, but this is how I look whenever I work most of the time. I just wanted to say that I, I'm sorry if I seem kind of like a negative Nancy lately. I'm really not. We are just so ready for this house. I cannot say that enough. We are so ready. And I'm excited to finally I feel like we see the light at the end of the tunnel right now. Matt was, we went back to the house yesterday and we're talking to Pablo. He was working on digging the septic hole. And, you know, Pablo keeps saying two weeks, two weeks. And so we're like, okay, sure. I'll believe it when I see it. But we, we have a list of things that still need to be done for the house. And it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And a lot of those things besides the septic and water are pretty small things, like things that they can get done very quickly, like finishing up the cabinets, installing the countertops, finishing that window, um, you know, finishing the texture of, of those spots we showed y'all and painting. So we are so close and we're finally getting really close to being able to going, going and getting our furnishings for the house. So cab uh, other cabinets or storage things, um, we actually need to get doorknobs. So we're really close to that and I'm just so excited to bring y'all along because there will be videos of us furnishing the house, moving in, decorating, settling in, all of that fun stuff. That is so exciting. We are just so ready. It's almost like, like we're in Groundhog Day right now. We just wake up and I feel like for the last two months it's been, okay, this needs to be done, but it's not getting done. Okay, this needs to be done, but it's not getting done. But finally it's getting done. And it took us kind of lighting a fire under his, his backside to, to get there, but it's fine because it's getting done. So we're just, I just wanted to say we're getting more optimistic. It's been a struggle. Um, y'all know that I struggle with anxiety and depression and things like that. And I think that I've, I've kind of been getting down because I'm just so ready for this house and this next chapter. And then, you know, not really being in our own space and not having a routine. I thrive on having a routine. And so we're just ready. So keep your fingers crossed, say some prayers for us that it gets done really soon. We'll keep the updates coming. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure and hit that thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you wanna see with the new house, what type of videos, um, and also helps the algorithm whenever you comment on our videos. So, okay, that's it for the update. Hope you guys have fun out there and we'll see you in the next video. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.